Right. Now, I'm moving. I can actually talk about Avengers Age of Ultron. Yay. The oh. greatest Avengers film ever. <laughs> More like the worst, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, um, I'm going to say now, I don't hate this film. I still think it's pretty good, but it does get boring in the middle and kind of the end, unfortunately. I will say when I watched it, I fell asleep in the cinema. Yeah, uh, yeah that's kind of the sad thing. I kind of find it so boring, but, but it's, it's okay. Listen to me now. I like this. Hulk versus Hulkbuster is my favorite fight scene in all of the MCU. Yeah. I'm just saying that right there is so epic. Seeing Hulk and Hulkbuster fight in New York. No, it wasn't New York, was it? It's a city. That fight in a city. It's a really long fight. It's actually interesting. It was so cool. I it think was so fucking cool. Like, how can you say that isn't cool? Obviously, it doesn't save films. Wanda and Quick Silver were cool as well. I like how they introduced them and Hydra and all that. I, I mean, know. Hydra are complete dipshits in the MCU, so. Is this is a good thing I'm gonna say. Wanda gets better every time. Yeah, yeah. So this. I would say Wanda gets better every time. So. Yeah. But. Here's the thing. Ultron sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's Vision's awesome, but Vision is like... No, I'm sorry, but the problem with Ultron is that he's too funny. He should be a cold, calculated... Like, he should definitely have intelligence, but he shouldn't have any emotions, personally. Like, he should just be a logical t intelligence. He shouldn't be capable of having emotions. That's why he's like... He cares only about survival, you know? Like... So that's why it's like, okay, I need to eliminate humanity because they are a threat to me. Yeah. And, and machinery is the next, is the next evolution in, in, well, it's the next stage in human evolution, you know? So, personally, the highest would be C. That's at the highest would be C. Yeah, I'm gonna say C as well. Yeah, I don't think any higher than that is a bit too general. Hulk was like Bruce Banner had the best character in his film, and Black Widow. Black Widow was always good though. Well, apart from oh, her film, but whatever. Which is. Uh, I'm gonna say this later, but Black Widow in Endgame is the best character in that film by a fucking I don't like how Stark acts in this film because he's like he's laughing about and not taking notes on that seriously. And he's so arrogant throughout the film. After Iron Man 3, and his whole point, his whole character arc in Iron Man 1 was learning that his, that his, like, weapons were dangerous in the wrong hands. And that's why he has to be Iron Man, to be more serious, to protect the world. He mm. would, he would take Ultron way more seriously. He would have way more safeguards in place. I'm sorry, it doesn't work, especially when you consider in Iron Man 3, that whole point is that at the end of Iron Man 3, whole, no, Iron Man decides to, to stop making so many machines and instead focus in on his heart, the pepper pots and everything. You know, because... So... Yeah, it would have actually worked better, actually. And I feel like, personally... Ultron shouldn't have turned evil immediately. Like, it was so sudden. The film feels so sudden. Okay. So that's it, really. That's oh, kind of... Simon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll continue. Oh, guys. So, wait, wait, wait. So, so, like... Main thing, really, is just... Ultron needed to be more serious. Iron Man needed to be more in character. And that's it. The film would have been great then, I, th I find. If that, that's it, though. Okay. So, yeah.